In fact, we get the comment from time to time. Is she, is she gonna, gonna die? die? Good morning. morning. We had a meeting this morning and <clears throat> we are running some errands now. I don't have anything riveting to say. <laughs> Good morning, guys. All right, I just made us some quick dinner. Um, I made us a sandwich and um, Peter got us some corn the other day. So I just cooked up some corn and we don't have any butter, so I thought we could try coconut oil. <laughs> I think it'll work. There's our little summer dinner with some chips and salsa. And I think Peter's bringing some raspberries in. So. Let us eat. Let us eat. The sun came out. We have to go out. Ollie, the sun came out. I gotta get my shoes on. Hurry before it leaves. It's still quite chilly, but it's sunshine. Ollie, what do you think of the sun? Do you want to run? Ready? Go. Run. No thanks. <laughs> I feel like we haven't seen the sun for quite a while. I hope wherever you are, you're getting some, some sunshine coming in your window. Or perhaps you're outside of the sun. Soak it up, friends. Oh, and here's the end result of the um, the lights that Peter put up last night. You want to give them a review from the Dollar Tree lights? Um, if you're if you not too strong, you can break them as you put them in. You know, I saw a lot of good suggestions to put the steak in and then stick it on. That's really smart. Well, I didn't realize until like halfway through that there were steaks. So, anyways, I, I think they're great for I think a dollar. It's cool. For a dollar, I think it's if you're looking for a cheap option. Yeah. I was trying to start the camera and I pushed the wrong button, so I was like, what? And I realized I looked really concerned. It's all good. I'm just doing some laundry and um, like sorting out our closet. Now, in our old bedroom, <clears throat> um, we took the closet door off so that it's, because the bed's right there, so it'll be easier to use once the closet door is off. So we took it off, and um, so I'm just organizing the closet and update on um, coconut corn. It works. It was good. Did you like it? I kind of liked it better, actually. I couldn't taste it. It was too healthy, uh... <laughs> I felt like it was like a gourmet flavor. Ah, gourmet corn. <laughs> what? I have an idea. If you try coconut corn, post on social media, hashtag coconut corn. Oh, this is going to be trending. In no trending way. for sure. Let's get it trending. Coconut corn to the rescue. <laughs> and the gray sky is back, but... The good news is we had some blue skies today, so yeah. ain't no gray sky gonna stop me. I'm gonna do some laundry. <laughs> what? Are you laughing at me? Our little songs we make about everything. So yeah, yeah, it's a thing. How you doing? Good. Hang loose. Getting ready for Bible study. Awesome. You want to see it? Here comes the sun, do 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 do, and there's the clouds. It came back out. It's gorgeous. Hey, Betty. I left this car harness on. This is a seatbelt harness um, because we went out earlier, and I just wasn't really feeling up to shopping or anything, but my brain wanted to shop. So I was like, oh, maybe if I leave his car harness on, I'll be like, let's go shopping again. <laughs> Didn't work so far.
Guys, how about that sunset? Did that you was, get it? That was pretty cool. We, we were sitting in the living room. We were getting ready for Bible study tonight. And Mary looks outside. She's like, the sun, the clouds right now. You have to go drone. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I took a little flight. And just the, the vibrance <laughs> of the sun hitting the trees. And it was cool. And then he came in because he was like, I don't want to be antisocial. I was like, no, it's somebody totally had, fine. Somebody had arrived at the, mm -hmm. at the house and they're like, go back outside. And they're like, look at that sunset. <laughs> oh, and that, when I went back outside, that was when I got this shot over the water. It was amazing. Oh, the reflection of the cotton candy <laughs> clouds on the water. It's a beautiful ending to a gray day. Yeah. Speaking of gray, do you want to tell them about your new video that should be up on our channel? Gray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's technically the funeral tag. Um, I keep in my mind, I call it the death tag. It's, it's basically, like basically what it is. Breaking the social norm of not talking about death. Um, in fact, we get the comment from time to time. Is she, is she gonna, gonna die? die? <laughs> and the reality is we're all gonna die. And so yeah. Mary talks a little bit about her funeral. We have a link down in the description. And that is the first of many Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month videos. I hope that you enjoy it. I know that that is like the weirdest thing ever to say. And, um, and you might be a little confused because we did film that while she was in the hospital. Uh, she's oh, not currently yeah. in the hospital. I thought I'd just be able to sit down. It's a, it, There are like five questions. Just answer, answer, answer. Be done. But I was like... Ah. Um, I think for me, the hardest part about cystic fibrosis and probably early death is not me like i i have hope that um i'm gonna be made whole like in hope in christ gives me the strength to push through whatever i need to in this life and then when i die i'm gonna be with jesus so i'm okay with that um i'm not the one i'm like worried about <laughs> it's my family and my husband who have to deal with when I'm gone, like, I think about when I die, the people who are left behind, and that makes me sad. And I have times where my mind plays out, it plays out all the scenarios. And sometimes I think that that's what I have to do. I have to sit there and think about it, and I have to cry about it, because it is reality. But for the most part, I don't think about death all the time. I think having the reality that we are all headed to the grave is kind of a good, and I think having a terminal chronic illness brings that to the forefront more than, say, a normal person. And I think that that can be good because it makes us really think about and treasure the moments that we do have together, whether it's... Um, making sure we have a little bit more of an adventure than we might, you know, like, yeah, let's go ahead and stop and dance in the parking lot. Like, because that's how we want to treasure our moments. And everybody's different how they want to treasure their moments. Not everybody wants to dance in the parking lot, and that's okay. We but, haven't done that in a long time. I know, we need to do that. I was thinking about that. We don't just, like, park the car and go take a random picture because then I get out of breath. Mm. But we got to figure out another way. Just dance in the parking lot sometime. Okay. But anyway, I think it's okay to think about death. I think it, when it consumes your mind, that's when you need to figure out finding hope in the midst of the reality. And then you might need to just sit down and do the death tag and uh, <laughs> yeah. face the reality, but then also move on. So, And there's some humor thrown in there, too. Don't think it's like this serious video. Apparently, the, the song I want sung at my funeral, I'll give you one little sneak peek into the video. You want to 
No, this is what no, I'm gonna have. You can't You're gonna away. guess in the comments right okay, now before okay. you go watch it. Guess what song I want at my funeral. And if you already watched it, then you can't answer. I'm just saying. It was like, really? Did that just come out? And it's not serious. <laughs> Don't really sing that at my funeral, okay, please? Oh, you you made it into a, an official video on YouTube. It's gotta happen now. Okay. Well. There anyway. You know. All right, guys. We are gonna get some sleep, and as, as always, always, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.